welcome to Vishwa Abloom. So today in this video we will be looking at trigonometry in two class 8 challenges. First question, the first question says in a right angle to triangle ABC. So first we have to draw one right angle triangle. Okay, this is a uh, right angle triangle. Name it as ABC because they have told it in the question. A is acute. Okay, this is acute. And B is 90 degree. 90 and tan A is 5 by 12. Okay. So normally what you have to find now cos A and uh, cosecant A minus cot A. So these are the two things. Now first we have to find the other value hypotenuse. Tan formula is O by A that is opposite by adjacent. So we have to find hypotenuse also. Okay. So that is BC by AB, right? According to this figure. Now first one, we have to find cos A. What is the formula of cos A? It's A by H, adjacent by hypotenuse. So hypotenuse we don't know. So we have to find using Pythagorean triple theorem. Okay. So let's do that first. Here, AC square. Oh yes, it's C. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Right. We don't know AC. Let's consider it as some X. It's okay. Fine. Now X square we will take it. Now this is so 12 square plus BC square is. Oh, let's, let me write the values here also. So later we will write it. This is 5 square. So BC 5 AB 12. Okay, so we wrote it. This one we have to find. Then uh, we have to find this 12 square is 144 plus 5 square 25. Right, so next what we have to see? Add it up. It is going to be uh, 169. Now this square if you transpose to RHS it becomes square root. So square, square root of 169 is 13. So, AC is 13, which is found. Now, what we have to do, just put it in the formula, that's it. A is, so of A is 12, 12 by 13, that's it. Now, second bit also, we will do in the same manner. Cosecant or theta. Sorry, it's not theta, it's A. Theta is at A, right? So, we will put it as A here. And minus cot A. Okay, cosecant A is nothing but it is H by O and uh, minus A by O. So uh, H is hypotenuse, A is adjacent, O is opposite. So shortcuts, right? Have to use sometimes. Now H, H is 13, hypotenuse. Opposite side is 5 minus adjacent side is or 12 and opposite is 5. Right now we have to solve this. Okay. It will be uh, 13 minus 12 is a 1 right. So 1 by 5 is the answer. So with this we completed first part. Let's do the second one. Second question actually. The second question is from adjoining figure find the value. So this is the picture actually. Okay. So there's a triangle. So two right angles are combined. And the values are being given over there. So this is AD is 2, DC is 3 and BD is 4. So these two are acute, these two are right, right angles, okay. So with this we have to find secant A, tan C, secant C, secant square C minus tan square C. So four things we have to find. But before finding that, you see something pending. Hypotenuse, both hypotenuse we have to find. First, we'll find this AB. This one we will find. Okay. So, AB square is equal to AD square plus BD square. Okay. So, next. So, this AB square we don't know. Keep it like that. AD. AD is 2 square. BD is 4 square. Right, so according to this, we have to find so 2 square is 4 and uh, 4 square is 16. So, with this, we can conclude that it is 20. So, AB square is 20. Right, 
not AB. Now, so AB will be square root of 20. Because that square will be transposed. It will become root. That's it. Very simple logic over there. Next, now BC or the same way we have to find it. Let's find that also. BC square is equal to BD square plus CD square. So this is all Pythagorean theorem. We are doing nothing, okay? CD square. So this is a 4 square, right? BD square. BD square 4 square and a CD square 3 square. So 4 square is 16 and uh, 3 square is 9, right? Now when you add up, it is going to be BC square is uh, 25. BC is 5 because the square root goes to RHS square root of 25 is 5 as we all know that. Now AB root 20 and this is 5. Now let's continue with the solution. First, second A, right? Secant A in the sense, like this is A, right? So, from this point of theta, we have to find this. So, from this triangle, only from this triangle, we have to find, okay? So, first, secant A is nothing but hypotenuse by adjacent. That is, root 20. Hypotenuse is root 20 divided by adjacent is 2. So, uh, when you, we have to rationalize it, right? So, how we can do that? Uh, this is a root 20 is nothing but a root of 4 into 5, right? 20 in the sense. That equals to, uh, we can take two common right here. Sorry, we will take out two here. Okay. Okay, so how about it will become 2 root 5 by 2. Why I wrote this? How I got this first you will be thinking. So, root 4, in the sense, root 2 into root 2 is 2, right? So, such a way, I wrote it. Square root of 4 is 2, no? In such a way, I wrote it, okay? This is not to be considered. So, now you can cancel this 2, 2, right? And answer is root 5. So, very long. You can write, I wrote it in a one step. You can write step by step down. Second one, uh, question is, tan C, okay? So tan is nothing but O by A. So this one, from this point of theta, we have to see it's only from this triangle. Okay, O by A, that is opposite by adjacent. One second, I'll just... So opposite here, it is uh, 3, right? So, th sorry, 4, I'm sorry. 4 by adjacent is 3, that's it over. Now third one, secant C. Okay. That is obviously same formula, hypotenuse by adjacent, but from this point, okay. So, hypotenuse is 5 and adjacent is a 3, right, 5 by 3. Now, fourth one, fourth one it is secant square theta, sorry, secant square C minus tan square C. So, this one formulas for secant and tan are already here so instead of writing it again we can just copy from here secant square secant 3 c already we know so that's 5 by 3 squaring we will do minus tan c also we know 4 by 3 4 by 3 whole square right now what we can do we will uh, first square it then it will become 25 by uh, 9 minus 16 by 9. Right, that will be 9 by 9 and that is 1. Okay, now uh, we will see the next challenge. Third question is tan theta is equal to 24 by 7. Such is O by A. What we have to find? Secant square, secant theta plus cosecant theta. That's it. So first, we will draw one right angle triangle. And we will consider right angle. This will be theta. Right? So, ABC something we will name it. Okay. Now, 
24 by 7 opposite by adjacent so adjacent is this 7 opposite is 24 this one we have to find for finding secant theta plus cos cosecant square theta so for that we will use pythagoras theorem right every time so this one we'll consider as x okay i am just directly doing now x square is equal to 24 square plus 7 square so when you do this when you solve it what we're going to get so 576 plus 49 when you square it now we'll add this okay answer is 625 that is x square not x right so x value is root of 625 and x value is 25 so this is 25 now instead of x put 25 now, uh, what it is secant square, secant theta plus cosecant theta. Okay. Now, first write the formulas. So, uh, this is the formulas, right? Now, we have to put it there. So, 27, sorry, hypotenuse is 25. 25 by adjacent is uh, 7 plus Hypotenuse 25, opposite is 24. Now, we will add this. So, LCM is 168. Now, we will find, for this we will equal, do it. So, we have to multiply 24 uh, to numerator and denominator to get 168. Not here, here you should multiply 7. Okay, one second. Fine, now we have to solve this. Let's solve. So, these will be the uh, result, right, for it, as you can see on the board. So, 25 into 24 is 600, 25 into 7 is 175. Now, uh, let's solve. Now, 600 plus 175 is 6 plus, sorry, 5, 7, 6 plus 1, 7 by 168. That's it, our answer is solved. Now, we will see fourth one. Fourth question is sin A is equal to 1 by 3. That is O by H, right? So, what we have to find? We have to find all other trigonometric ratios. So, what I did is just I changed the naming. That's it. I can write ABC like this also. ABC like this also. But in order we have to write. That's it now. So, I wrote like this this time. Because A is over here. They wrote it is acute. Here also I can write but I am very much comfortable over here. So, I am writing here. If you are interested here, you can do it. Okay, but little bit answer change will come. Answers will be same only, but while solving, it will be different. Okay, now opposite is here, right? So it is one. But if you are putting theta here, it will be different again. I'm saying now only, and h is this. H I've written doesn't change. These two only will change. Okay, now we have to find adjacent because everything we have to find in the sense we need adjacent also. So let's find it. So, the same way, Pythagoras theorem, we have to use and find it. Now, let's keep it as x. Normally, that formula is ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square, right? So, just move that formula here and there when you adjust that formula. You have to find ab. So, ab will be one side, remaining everything will be other side. So, ab here, I'll keep here. And AS, AC is already here. Minus BC square. This one I will send that to So formula adjusted according to our use. Now we can put it. X square. AC square in the sense we are having 3 square minus 1 square. So X square is equal to 9 square minus 1. Sorry, sorry. No, I'm not 9 square. 9 minus 1, so x square is equal to 8 and x is square root of 8. We don't know square root of 8, right? So this is root 8. Instead of x, put root 8. Now this Pythagoras theorem solving, I'm going to wrap. So all other ratios means sin theta, cos theta, cos a, you should say, right? Tan a. And uh, secant A, secant A, and cot A. So, all this we have to find, right? Now, sine was already found, that's why I didn't write. So, let's find all these now. All the formulas I have written here. Now, let's just substitute, that's it. 
so uh, we all know this is the this is opposite adjacent and hypotenuse okay now easy that's why I, for making it easy i wrote a o h now a is rotate so like that i can easily see and write h3 opposite to 1 by adjacent is rotate hypotenuse is 3 adjacent is rotate hypotenuse is 3 adjacent sorry sorry so your opposite no we forgot and wrote that you should not be confusing over there right it's 1 3 by 1 is nothing but 3 only now check everywhere yeah everywhere it is correct only just once it, sometimes it will happen now hypotenuse is 3 adjacent is root 8 adjacent root 8 high opposite is 1 so it is root 8 right so with this we completed fourth main now fifth main and all we'll do in other video do like share and subscribe to wish problems thanks for watching bye